this is K-Hoops again. Do a launch day stream. So this should be the same version as hopefully what you have right now if you are playing the game. So last time we started with Magic Missile, so let's go with Fireball. <clears throat> One of my go-to strategies, if I'm not like in love with any of the rewards, if there's something like Bag of Spikes that can just clear an early level for me, um, I tend to gravitate towards that. So maybe holding that down too fast, those sandworms can burrow through walls, looks like a few of them got me. Again, let's uh, just let the spikes do their thing, if they can, and they can. Um. So gnome shoes, you get a gnome every eight steps, which is great. Uh, my builds tend to be pretty stationary, so it's not a super awesome pickup for me, but uh, during the beta testing I've seen some players really lean on this, have it pretty much carry an entire run. Uh, I'm going to get Drill Shoes. And what you'll see will just let us blast through walls. We should probably hook up a sound effect to that. This would be more satisfying to bust the walls open. Decide what if, I, if there's anything fun I can do with the drill shoes. As far as some cheesy stuff, I don't remember all the spells they don't need. Line of sight though. I guess Seal Fate has a blind casting upgrade, but it's probably not worth it. Um, You know what, I'm not going to lean into the drill shoes, but if we end up using them, we end up using them. Let's re-roll just for fun. Crackle Darkeners, pretty good. Whenever an enemy takes dark damage, deal that much lightning damage to up to two enemies in a six tile burst. So yeah, let's get that. And so now we need to be doing some dark damage. So let's get... Since we are on an open level, let's get Pain Mirror. And let's cause some pain. Great. So, got yeah, Crackle Darkener already being quite useful. And ooh, I guess there's not a lot of zombies. This will be fine. Since we are going to be shooting off some lightning damage, this is maybe a little premature. 
But we've already got Fire and Lightning in the build. Let's just get Prince of Ruin. Oops, that guy's bigger than I thought. Pretty great. Oh, I think we could do better with just oh no, pain <laughs> bad timing. We got 6 SP, should probably invest that sooner than later. Oh, let's hope for something more open. Ooh, if this one's not open, my greed is gonna haunt us. Ah, we can do this. Start. So if I want to start here, and let's get an enchantment spell. Carnival of Pain. So Carnival of Pain's new. Whenever an enemy takes physical fire and lightning damage, the three nearest enemies take dark damage. So we'll Pain Mirror first. Okay. All right, we're good. I want to get this lightning wizard out of the way with the initial stuff, so... Let's just start here, even though it's going to miss those layers, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, so if the damage killed the enemy, the bolt coming out of that deals two times the damage. I don't know if we want that now. No, that seems excessive. Um, let's get a horror. Uh, whenever an enemy dies to dark damage, up to three enemies in line of sight will be stunned. Not a new skill, and I honestly don't get it very often, but we're, we've got Carnival of Pain and Pain Mirror, so it's useful for us.
didn't cast Fireball yet. Alright, and we can't do anything about this guy. descriptions. So, enchanting dagger. That's not going to affect our enchantments. That's not going to. That's not going to. Duration's good. I think we can do this. Oh, whoops, was that? That's minion duration. Did I read that wrong? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just read that as duration, but that was minion duration. Do we want any of these then? No. I messed up. actually can't use any of those. That's my bad. Well, do we want any of these? Let's just take that. Maybe we'll get an enchantment that... Yeah, because the rest are minion related. Whatever. This cap so that is going to redeal 50% of dark damage to enemies as arcane. Um, and I want to hurt these vampires, so we will <laughs> spend a lot of cash on Twilight Gaze. And let's be greedy and just give it the full 100%. So. Pain here. Carnival of Pain. Didn't even need Twilight Gaze! No! Oh well. Twilight Gaze is pretty awesome for late game, so it's okay. Oh. Let's re gaze. Alright, so yeah, it kind of came in handy at the end of this level. I feel really bad about not doing anything fun with these drill shoes. Um, but whatever. Eh, we can do this one. I think just getting a bunch of HP is the vibe right now. Since this build is pretty aggressive. What a carnival. Yep, 
Yeah, Crackle Darkener is really pairing well with um, Carnival of Pain. I mean, we might as well get Stormcaller at this point. Maybe let's just try to do like a minion free run. Because I was tempted initially when thinking about Fireball and Pain Mirror. I was thinking about getting this Burning Pain upgrade, which would do fire damage, or I was thinking about getting Searing Heat to kind of guarantee fire and dark damage every turn so I could do Ghost Fire. Um, well, it's not. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna start being like really arrogant and just putting myself in the worst starting positions and seeing how that affects the run. Um, let's get death power. Any other dark things that'd be good right now? No. All right, I probably should have got. Storm color right there, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> cool. This build is borked. I'm actually not sure with this one when it says for every 100 damage dealt summon a tormentor. I'm not sure if it's the damage I'm dealing, it's like punishing us for doing that, or if it's like the collective damage dealt by um, its boys. So let's find out. Um, and let's just start in a bad spot. Pain Mirror, Carnival of Pain. Okay, so that's got to be the damage we're doing then, because there's no way I took that much damage. Okay, that's good to know. That's a horrible, horrible idol. Um, maybe avoid in the future at all costs. Got eight SP. Teleport into trouble.
need a more efficient way to kill this guy. This is a rough run. Um, I mean, very lazy. Use that. Probably shouldn't have, but whatever. It's a waste of mana for it. Oh. Is there a spell I can purchase that would kill him? Whatever. I think we're fine with mana potions. Alright. Good to see some limitations and pushback with this build. It is pretty laser focused, so we might start running into problems. I guess the question is. Dark Star Cap is doing enough that I kind of want to get Crackle Void on this run. I think that could be cool. Yeah, let's do that. because we can. it off camera hmm yes sorcerer's disc Melting armor for free is not bad since we're, we are doing some fire damage. It's not not a crazy amount though. I think I like this one the best though, because I kind of just want to be super tanky. something that does a high instance of damage. There's only two casts of that. Wah, wah. That was, I guess, the wrong choice then.
come back here. Is he still has one more? <laughs> okay, yeah, we may have. I severely underestimated the immortal dragon mage. I may have just run it may be over. I should have bought soul tax. He's got resist, so soul tax probably isn't going to be super great either. Oh, I should have gotten hate bolts. That would have been the call. Boo. Where is soul tax? My eyes are not focusing. Five? Yeah, we can get there. Teleport. He's going to leap in four. Oh man, I need one more, two more for soul tax. I am, sorry guys, I'm still sick. I am out of my mind. I guess we'll just do touch of death. level is a horrible choice. I'm shocked at how difficult it's been. I mean, I've made horrible decisions, too. Um, oof, maybe I can't beat this level. struggle from just going into autopilot and just clicking on stuff sometimes so yeah picking up pillar of fire was a big no no I did not read the charge count on that um, it's been a long time since I've used pillar of fire um, so that only having two charges was a bit of a yikes for us um, 
All right, well, we are out of mana potions. So I think we're gonna need to be a little more careful moving forward. Um, Finger six is awesome for Carnival of Pain. So let's do this stage. So that's gonna add a target. Person's person. This monstrosity is just going to wreck our charges. Um, right? Yeah, we lose a charge of a random spell, so. Is this the end of the run? Touch of death. Oh no, we can do it. Oof. That was scary. And this is what's nice about Rift Wizard. You think you have this like brain off world beater build, and the next thing you know, you just are floundering through the levels, so. tempted to do this one. Just for the LOLs. Um, let's see, Stormcaller, yeah. Let's, let's get Prince of Ruin. I think it will still... I already have Prince of Ruin. See, this is where my head's at right now. Um, dealing physical though, so I don't want to... Sorry, I'm seeing I'm getting melting armor, but I don't have anything dealing out physical right now. Um... Let's just get snakes. You know what, this level has a heart. Let's do it. This is stupid. Oh yeah, and just a note, I am playing on X-Turbo, which is cutting pretty much the majority of the animations, but it does result in like this freeze freeze frame stuff later on. So that's why we keep seeing that. Easy Street again. Um, so 
there is a new enchantment. Oh, is it not enchantment? It is... Sorcery? No, it's arcane. What am I thinking? Multi-mancy. Number spells and skills get 50 numb targets. I'm going to get that. That's going to increase our targets for Crackle Void and Carnival of Pain. So I think totally worth it. So let's see. Carnival of Pain now is yeah doing six targets. So And Crackle Void is doing five. It's cool. Oh yeah. And Shatter Shards. We'll be doing six. Whoa, that's a lot of gold skulls. This one could be fun though. Or instant death. You know what? I Okay, so last time we fought Ophan. Oh, Pope the Frog is pretty annoying. He has so much HP. Old Jorgie's pretty annoying too, but let's just. Ooh, that has more HP though. Um, how much is Soul Tax? That is something I might need. Five. There's technically five out here. Um, I don't think I could walk to all that though. I have one mana potion, that's what I'm scared of though. These levels do have a lot of fire resist. Um, let's just try this. Oh, well, this is a regular dragon mage. That's fine. Start this down to Jorg. All right. Oh, yeah, so with. This dude, he is going to, on taking damage, gains 10 resistance to the damage for one turn. That's pretty annoying. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I guess we got Shatter Shards. Start looking for SP.
think we're fine. Oh, hell yeah. Oof. I'm gonna waste this teleporter because I want that. I wonder if I should keep drawing out this fight to see if I can get more good stuff. But I think my boys are just gonna kill him. Back to Mordred. Um, again, apologize for the long bouts of silence. Okay, I am most worried about only having one mana potion. to just get Arch Enchanter because that will give me two max charges and I really need that. So, um, Wait, is there no... Ooh, bug report! <laughs> There's no exit. Cool. Uh, I have a portal key, so the run's not over. Uh, this is one to report to Dylan. I'm gonna screenshot this real quick. Oh, actually, that might stop the, the video, but... Yeah, that's not good. Luckily, I have a portal key, so game is not over. And I'm just going to use both. I just really hope one of these has a mana potion. None of them do. This one has an earthquake orb. Death dice. Oculus. Wait to see what happens from this. Yeah, X Turbo is putting in the work right now.
last one. See, Mordred right now is scared. Mordred's just uh, thinking about the next moves, I guess. Um, We'll use the mana potion that we got. All right, he's in line of sight. Awesome. Should do it. All right. I guess this build is where frame rates go to die. Just like Mordred. Um, again, sorry for the lack of talking. One of these days I'll be super chatty. But uh, again, the Dark Wizard is slain, his beasts have been broken and made tame. The beauty of Avalon will be built again. Your soul is permitted to sleep and dream once more. Alright, uh, if you did pick up Rift Wizard today or are planning to, I sincerely hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for checking out these videos and there's a lot of brain dead decisions on my part on this run but luckily we made it through that's a pretty fun one carnival of pain is easy to really exploit so it's kind of an example of what you can do with a semi-optimized carnival of pain all right have a good one